All right, guys, today we are going to be doing a Champion 4,000 watt generator. It's 3,500 running watts. Um, this is actually my personal generator. I'm going to be using this for uh, my trip to North Florida to, to fly my little PPG. It's going to be a three day thing. So uh, I already started on this. Um, you know, you take, unclip the cover. Pop it off, take the air filter out. Um, you got uh, four screws, four bolts. They're eight millimeter or a Phillips head screw. You get them out. There's two, there's three and four over here and here. Take that off. All right, now we're where I finished. Now we're gonna go ahead and take 10 millimeters got two of them you got this one and this one here and then another 10 back here um, it may be an 8 but I think it's a 10 take those three out All right and then there's a hose here that goes through um, you just pull that out it comes right out you got another vent hose here pull that out it's all done done pop the Air filter assembly. Oh, so there's a choke lever. It goes in back here in that slot. So when you put it back together, make sure that's where you want it. Because if you don't, this will flutter around and won't run properly. And we don't need to, this just sets off to the side, no big deal. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take this clamp up and pull this fuel line off. Um, we're going to need a bottle to drain the tank. You want to drain everything out of the tank. When you're done draining it all out, I like to uh, blow everything out with air um, through the top. Just get it all completely dry it out. Um, now we're going to go ahead and remove the carburetor. Should just pull right out. There we go. You get it out about this far, and then you can lift that. See, that just came right straight off. Lift that arm right up off of it. There's supposed to be a spring on there too. It's broken. There's a spring here that is broken. It goes all the way to here as well. It hooks up. That keeps it from surging. I'll be putting a new one of those on. Put this all the way off. Flip it upside down. Um, you can see the bad gas running out of there. It's not supposed to be yellow. 10 millimeter take that bowl bolt off um, before you do that though give her a good rinse make sure that there's no uh, um, you know dirt that it's going to work its way into the the system just make sure it's all cleaned up we get the bowl off you can see that's all dirty we're going to go ahead and clean the bowl out um, use carb cleaner brake cleaner um, we want to go ahead and pull this pin off of here the pair of pliers the pin just comes straight out that way. The float comes off with the needle valve. You're going to have to clean the needle valve and the float very well as well. So there with that. Now we're getting into the good stuff. Here, let me get the flashlight on. Alright, so inside here, inside the center, that is supposed to be a jet, not a big tub of goo. That's why this doesn't run. So we're going to clean that out really well. We're going to spray it out with carb cleaner. We're going to spray this out with carb cleaner really well. And then we're going to start disassembly of the jet. So you just use a can of carb cleaner with a straw. Just a couple good blasts in there. I'm just trying to get down to the actual jet like so you can see the flathead slot there. Now we're going to take this jet out with a flathead screwdriver counterclockwise. Okay, so I use a number two screwdriver, but I grind the sides of it down so that it'll fit in all the way in there. And you get it in nice and firm. I'm going to need two hands. You'll find the flathead slot. Where is it? There it is. And then you're going to give it a kind of a hold it firm and quick turn and then it breaks free if it starts stripping out just stop don't even bother we'll clean you can clean it out while it's in there 
Um, I use an acid, it works very well with the inside even. It's just, I like to get it out, especially when it's that dirty, because you gotta want to make sure that you get all the debris out. But if you got to, you can clean it inside. I do it all the time. All right, so the jet and the orifice tube fell out. Orifice tube does not have to come out of there. Um, if it does, the flat side here goes towards the jet. So we're gonna set that down. We're gonna set this down. That's your jet, and I'm gonna show you how to clean them. That's my trick right there. This is 14 karat gold testing solution. Um, I'll put it in the link below. This is acid. You get this on your skin, it's gonna burn. You get this in your eyes, it's gonna burn. Water instantly dilutes it. It washes it right out. So don't use any other kind of acid. I've tried using other acids. They either melt the aluminum, or they melt the brass, or they don't do anything at all. This is the only stuff that i found that works. And I've tried mixing my own stuff. I've tried all kinds of different stuff. Um, this is, this it just works the best. All right, so we're gonna pop the top open, safety goggles on. Uh, don't use plastic gloves, use vinyl gloves if you're gonna use gloves. One or two drops in the jet, maybe three in the orifice tube. bubble and simmer this guy here I'm going to do a couple of drops in this hole here a couple of drops in that hole there those two holes simmer those are your idle circuits and that'll be it that's all you need um, I can do 50 carburetors on one of these bottles of acid so and it lasts for a long time you just set it in a freaking toolbox somewhere where you know where it is and you'll use it again all right when the simmering is kind of stopped you're going to slowly rinse the acid off so that you don't get it splashed back or anything get in your eyes just make sure that it slowly rinses off everything and then you're going to pick up these one at a time and really push this carp through it hard. Put them in like that and then you're going to push it down until it sprays through. Make sure it cleans really well. You're going to do it few times just to make sure it's got a good steady solid stream spray through all of these little openings here and through your orifice tube right there as well all right so spray this out do not use acid in there I know it's brass and you want to but it can etch it and it'll keep it from sealing properly so just spray it out really good with carb cleaner with the Phillips head take out this idle screw right there Flathead screwdriver, pry it up. That's your idle jet. See the brass in there? That's a jet. It's going to take one drop of acid in it, too. Clean it out. Maybe two, just to be sure. rinse it off and then you're gonna use extreme amount of force to make sure that it's clear you see the difference it's a nice and clean jet now now we're gonna reassemble everything's been sprayed out everything's been cleaned off we're gonna take and put idle circuit back in idle jet back in we're gonna put the idle screw back in back in, I'll screw back in. This tube, flat side out. And you're gonna put the jet flat side in. Screwdriver side out. 
wipe your screwdriver off before you put it in there so you don't push any debris into it. Screw it all the way down in tight. Give it a rinsing, make sure there's no sand or debris in there from screwing it down. Now we got the float. Gonna give it a good clean, make sure that that needle valve is good and clean. The staining is fine, that can be like that. Just make sure there's no debris on it. We're gonna put this in with the needle valve on it still. And slide it right in to the opening. And then we're gonna put this pin back in. Hold it all in place. If you can see this or not but I blow through it when you lift up when you lift up this when you're blowing through where the fuel goes through it should let air through when you let go it should stop the air from going through if it does that you're fine it's ready to go all right um, then you're gonna clean out the bowl really well all right, so you know again just make sure all the major debris is out of it set back you notice I didn't take this gasket out of the bowl, the bowl gasket out if you take it out it'll swell just leave that in and then you'll see that this nipple and this drain bolt go opposite directions because the fuel will come in here but you'll want to be able to get to the drain on this side so opposite sides and the bowl bolt is dirty get it scrubbed clean there you go and put it back in. Now, tighten this down. I'm going to, I'm to tighten this down and I'm going to show you a little trick. Right. So this gasket here ripped when it came off. And I don't have another gasket for this. I'm going to put it in the description for you. Carburetor, gaskets, whatever I can find for this thing. But I don't have one. So I'm going to use some shellac sealant. This is... Uh, Indian head they call it this one is just shellac gasket shellac you get any auto parts store up if I remember I'll put this in the description below as well but here I'm going to unscrew this a brush with shellac on it on oh, this one's almost out but you're going to brush the shellac everywhere on this and get it all the way around this so I went and got a brand new bottle See, it's nice and syrupy. Don't need a lot though, it just has to be on there thin. So you wipe it all off to where you're not using too much. You just wipe it on thin. All the way around. And then over here on the material that's left over here on the engine, wipe it around on that. That way. It'll make a good seal just like that I don't have to worry about a new gasket I can pop that on Sliding the carburetor on now oh wait I forgot I got a broken spring I gotta get a new one on let me get this old spring out of here get that thing pulled out see it's just one of the ends broke off this one's got two wire ends so we're gonna go ahead and and view this at the same time. Just slide this into the shaft like that. You're gonna hook it down at this end. Like that. And then this end is gonna go over. It's gonna hook on to the carburetor like that. And then this hook and hook into the hole over here like that. All right, and that's it. It's got tension on both sides. Keep helps keep it from surging. And we're gonna push this all the way in. That'll make a good seal. Now we're gonna put the fuel line back on. Clamp back on. Choke plate. It's 
Let me go back on. Oh, I think I got that on the wrong side of that fuel line. Hold on. All right, so that line goes on that side of the fuel line. No big deal. Pop this back in place. But we got to make sure that the choke and look it popped right in there. The choke arm and everything lines right up. That worked out perfect, actually. Um, two 10 millimeter nuts on the front here. 10 millimeter bolt on the back. Um, go through that side, but it goes on the back right here. Got your big hose, put it back in there. This is just crank case ventilation, like a PCV valve type of deal. Um, and this is this one is vent for the gas tank. So if this tears, no big deal. If this breaks, no big deal. Don't worry about it. Doesn't have to be back in there for it to run. But the California emissions does. Okay, I need two hands. Just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and put some gas inside before we put the air filter on. So we can make sure the carb isn't leaking. You see it is dripping out of there. You take a ratchet and you bang it on the bottom of the carb and it stops it. This does happen all the time. It will like start to drip. No big deal. No big deal at all. Um, it's just super dry from being cleaned out with carb cleaner and such. See, it's done. It's not dripping anymore. It stopped. It actually, I think, stopped before I even tapped it. But if it is dripping, just tap the bottom of the carburetor. It'll pop that needle valve back up in place. Then we're going to go ahead and start this. Turn that on. And this. Perfect. And double check it, make sure it's not rip, rip, you know, ripping anymore. I don't want to see something. I was just making sure the auto choke actually worked. It worked. All right, guys. And we're gonna put this uh, back on. Eight millimeter bolts, all four of them, four corners. Put your air filter back in. And then this cover back on. You gotta squeeze in there whenever I have to use two hands. Alright guys, this helped out in any way, shape, or form. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, all the parts will be in yes, safety goggles. All the parts will be in the description below that you'll need to use for this job. Uh, carburetor, air filters, anything I can find for this thing I'll put in the description below. Uh, today's t-shirt will be in the description below as well. If you want to be my sponsor, message me. I'll be more than happy to take on a sponsor. Peace.